Uh, by way of introduction, my name is Garen Combs. I'm with the National Association of Real Estate Investors. Uh, we are a company that uh, solely focuses on U.S. investing, uh, real estate investing. So we help students that are outside the U.S. invest in the U.S. Uh, obviously, we all know that there's a big opportunity in the U.S. So what we've done is we've uh, have we're actually lucky to have the president of the National Association of Real Estate Investors, Mr. Andrew Cordell, here with us today. Uh, he's going to show you some amazing strategies, things that you've probably never heard of or don't even know exist uh, as far as investing uh, in real estate, not just here but also in the U.S. Um, so we're we're lucky to have him with us. We're excited for that. Hopefully, you take some great notes, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Mr. Andrew Cordell. All right, all right. Thank you, Garrett. You got the clicker for me? Okay. All right, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Oh, yeah, how are you? Been a long day already, huh? There's a lot of information going around, and I do appreciate you coming into this room. And I'll spend about 45 minutes with you and uh, show you a couple different strategies inside of real estate investing. Uh, and I'll walk through a couple different ways that, like Garen said, you might not have ever heard of before. And uh, I'll walk you through some, uh, one, what we call a passive way of investing. And then another way, a little bit more active way of investing that's very, very uh, uh, popular right now in the United States real estate market. Uh, so let me get started here. I'm going to show you a couple of different uh, houses. Uh, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of real estate deals uh, in 12 years of real estate investing. So I'm going to walk through. I'll show you a couple of examples real quick. And uh, then I'll get into a little bit more of the teaching side of real estate investing. Uh, on the screen here, uh, this would be what we call a uh, motivated uh, seller, meaning that I bought this from the bank. I bought this house that was already what they call foreclosed on. It was a vacant property. I would buy a house like this, uh, just to uh, translate a little bit of numbers here for you. Uh, this house would cost in pounds around 35,000 uh, pounds to purchase a house like this. Uh, now, it needs renovation done to it, so we're all on the same page. And I'm not here to, to, to try to get you to renovate houses by any means, uh, but I'm just going to walk you through a quick process here. Uh, so this one, I purchased around 35,000 pounds, and then uh, a motivated or distressed letter from the bank. I then would then, or our company would then rehab that property, and then we would turn that property into a house that looks similar to that. And then we would sell, uh, we put about 25,000 pounds into it, and then we sold it for around 120,000 pounds. Uh, a process like that takes about four months, start to finish. That gives you a little bit of an idea of some of the uh, types of transactions I've done. I'm not, again, I'm not going to go in depth of, of uh, you doing that from here. I'm just giving you guys a couple examples. Here's another house that we would buy from uh, uh, the bank itself, okay? Because right now, if you understand the uh, United States real estate market, it crashed in 2008. It continued to go down from about 2008 to about 2011. From 2011 to about 2012, it was at the bottom of the market place there and uh, now it's back on an upward swing and so now you can get prices uh, home values at an extremely discounted rate and you can buy them straight from the bank uh, vacant properties already foreclosed on here's another property this was a kitchen of another house that we did and I wanted to expand the kitchen a little bit and redo it create uh, create value inside the property there so we took the kitchen that looks like that and we turned that kitchen into a kitchen that looked like that and uh, we sold that again uh, for a profit from the bank, rehabbed it, and sold it for a profit again. Here's another blown up picture there. We expanded the kitchen out, opened up the walls, etc. Lastly, here's another property that I did. This is a bathroom of a, a master property. You can see the little orange stickers on the sink and on the toilet, on the tub. Uh, those are from the bank. Uh, after they come through, they winterize the property, so those are from the bank. And then we turn that bathroom, which was a master bathroom, into a master bathroom. It looks like that. Now, I'm going to walk you through two different strategies today. I'm going to walk you through one strategy that's, again, completely passive, meaning that it's all done remotely, same way that I do it remotely. It's the same way that you would do it remotely. We have, uh, just for clarification, we have just under 100,000 uh, uh, students worldwide. Uh, we have students all the way from Australia to New Zealand to uh, Singapore to Hong Kong, uh, all over. I'm going to South Africa in about three weeks. And uh, we have students from all over that do this strictly remotely. Okay, This is not something that you ever, ever, ever have to go to the U.S. for. Nor do I, when I go do these properties, am I actually visiting these properties uh, that I'm about to walk through as well. Okay, So 
Quickly here, this is one thing that a lot of people face when it comes to investing in real estate, and I sometimes I feel like I'm the oddball here uh, because we're the only real estate company out there. Uh, but when it comes to real estate investing, there's normally two things that prevent people from investing inside of real estate. No matter what country I speak in, what continent I speak on, uh, there's two things that prevent people from investing inside of real estate. Does anybody in the room today know uh, what prevents uh, people from investing in real estate? Let me have an idea. Fear. There it is. Uh, fear is one of the main reasons that prevents people from investing in real estate. And all fear is, at the end of the day, is just a lack of knowledge. It's the ability of not understanding how it works. And so because we don't understand the process, we don't understand how it works, we just choose not to do it. And instead, we pass on opportunities uh, that I'm about to show you. Uh, many of you probably have not heard of this, but you know in the States uh, right now, uh, you can get uh, guaranteed by the government, you can get guaranteed returns on one year uh, between a minimum of 15% and a maximum of 25% guaranteed by the United States government, secured by a piece of property, a free and clear piece of real estate property. These are real estate terms or real estate uh, returns that you can get right now. When most people struggle to get 6% or 4% or 8%, these are guaranteed returns by the government, like a treasury bond. You guys know what treasury, treasury notes are or bonds would be? Same type of process except for it's attached to real estate uh, by the government as well. The other reason that most people uh, uh, don't are not able to invest in real estate is because of a lack of funds. Meaning that they either A, they don't want to invest their own money inside of real estate, which is perfectly fine, or B, they don't have the funds to invest inside of real estate. So because they don't have the money, they think, well, they think that for me to buy a house, I have to have maybe 200,000 pounds or 100,000 pounds for me to buy a property and invest in real estate. When in reality, it's the furthest thing from the truth. Most real estate is done with very little, very little money out of your pocket. And so I'm going to show you some cases today that you actually don't have to use any of your own money uh, to invest in real estate. Uh, the two things that our company does, so you can understand, and our company has 767 full-time employees uh, based around the uh, country or the world here. And out of those employees, the so two things that we do is, number one, provide education on how real estate investing works. You have to understand real estate investing before you actually invest in it. And that's what overcomes that fear that a lot of people have. Number two, the second thing we do is we provide uh, the funding for investors that are looking for funding. Meaning that uh, out of the 100,000 members that are uh, a part of our association, those members get private access to unlimited capital when it comes to private capital uh, for the houses that we do inside the states. You don't have to use your own money inside of it. Uh, our company, our organization is what provides that for not only our students in the U.S., but also the students across the world. Uh, so it's not a matter of you having to look there and say, well, man, I don't want to make this investment and risk 50,000, 100,000 pounds uh, inside the U.S. Nor, and just to be clear, nor is that what we're advocating or asking you to do. What we are asking you to do is look at the concept. Understand the process of how it works. Let me show you the process of how it works, and then we'll teach you, and then you can look at making money inside of real estate. As I go on here, uh, talking about what NARA is, I covered most of that already. Uh, we have 100,000 members nat uh, worldwide, seven, over 700 employees. It's important that you understand this. Our company owns a mortgage bank. Our company owns an attorney asset protection firm. Our company owns the property management. Uh, our company owns the asset management company. Our, property, our company owns the insurance for real estate investors. So what happens is any process or any part of real estate investing is what our company owns and what, how we help our students through the process. It'd be one thing that would be very difficult for you or for anybody for that matter, myself included, to try to look at real estate investing without having all the pieces in place. And without having the pieces in place is another one of those reasons that prevent people from investing in real estate. So what we do for you is we provide all the resources that you need start to finish, including the funding, including the attorneys, including the uh, transfer of funds, including uh, the insurance, including the management, including the houses themselves, if that's what you're needing from us. Uh, so that's a little bit about our company uh, as we go on through here. Again, we want to do two things for you. That is, number one, provide you with the education. Number two, provide you with the funding uh, to do real estate investing deals. Quickly here, just on the same page, I'll be coming back here in London uh, on May 6th, 7th, and 8th. And on May 6th, 7th, and 8th, which is a Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, our company will be back here at the Hilton and Park Lane in Piccadilly. 
and we'll be hosting a three-day workshop training event. It will last from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day. And it's more of a school uh, type of setting where it's more of a classroom style with tables and chairs so you can walk through and understand how the real estate investing works. Uh, just to cover a few things so you guys understand what's at that three-day training event is number one, is just a one-time investment. There's not anything that you have to keep buying and paying for. It doesn't work like that uh, at all with us. Uh, number two, we're going to show you how to build inside of real estate, how you build your power team meaning that you will not find any investor anywhere in any country, in any continent that does not have that team around him uh, that produces the investments for him. That's how real estate investing work. Uh, so we'll show you how to build that team. We'll also provide you with the team itself. We'll show you how to find the buyers, and I'll walk through that today, actually teaching you how to find the buyers inside of real estate. Uh, secondly, uh, we have some uh, opportunity for what we call our deal desk, which makes real estate as easy as buying stock. And I'll walk you through how that works today as well. I showed how to build your portfolio, uh, meaning that uh, there's opportunities now if you're in, in, the, in the states of building your portfolio, whether you're looking for a single family home or whether you're looking for multifamily uh, uh, rental properties or you're looking for strictly passive investments with, without owning real estate uh, where you can buy properties and make what they call a cap rate, which is a return on investment of around 10% or so on your money. Not bad. But also there's places inside the states right now that not only can you make a 10% cap rate or return, but you can also make 18, 19, 20% appreciation because of the market and what's going on right now inside the U.S. market. And that's not everywhere in the U.S. That's what we call emerging markets. And I'll show you what some emerging markets are as we go through here today. Uh, I'll show you how to find the deals, which is the most important part. Most, uh, also sometimes the most difficult part inside of real estate investing is knowing how to find the deals, like the deals I showed you earlier that were found from banks. I'll show you how to find those deals uh, as well. Uh, I'll teach you how to know what the property is worth. Uh, show you how to do your first or next deal. I don't know how many investors are in here today as far as real estate investors, uh, but sometimes doing that very first deal is the most difficult process out there. And once you do that first deal, it opens up an entire world of real estate investing that you've never seen before. I'll teach you what they call quick cash strategies, cash flow strategies, and compounding investment. All right, so these are some of the things we'll teach at the workshop. Now, uh, to get going here, uh, these are some of the other strategies, I'm sorry, these, these are some of the other strategies inside of real estate investing, such as buy, fix, hold, notes, if you want to play what they call the bank inside of real estate, uh, where you can own the paper inside of it. Today, I'm going to teach you two processes. If you look at the top of the screen, uh, number on the second thing there, it's called wholesale. I'm going to show you how to make quick cash in real estate. A mistake that investors think is that uh, for me to make money inside of real estate, it's a long-term investment. Meaning that if I, if, I, if I have an asset, it takes me a year, two years, three years to make money on the property. And that's the furthest thing from the truth when it comes to real estate. Inside of real estate, I can show you uh, uh, strategies. I'm about to show you a strategy that you can go out and do in 30, 45 days, make fifteen, eighteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 on one transaction without having to tie up your own funds. And then secondly, I'm going to teach you what we, what we call tax liens, which is the second one, which is a completely passive amount of investing, meaning that you never actually have to leave. It's like as easy as buying stock. You never have to leave the comfort of your own bed if you want to. Uh, you can buy them completely remotely uh, inside of real estate. So let me show you this. Let me show you how tax lien investing works. I'll show you how to uh, invest uh, without ever having to leave the comfort of your own home when it comes to real estate. First, you need to understand how tax liens are produced. Uh, so tax liens refer to property taxes, uh, which just like you guys have here in London, uh, we have property taxes in the state. What's important to understand for us, our school districts in a county, okay? Uh, so we have a county in the states, and that school districts for all the public schools there for the children are paid through by property taxes. That's how they're paid. So what happens is in a county, we may have 100,000, 150,000 properties, and those property taxes that are paid to the county are, is what pays for the schools and the bus and the food at those schools. What happens is you have a person that decides uh, does not pay their property taxes that year, and so the county contacts them and says, hey, uh, you forgot to pay your taxes this year. The second year, it happens again, and they didn't pay their taxes. The third year that happens, the county says, hey, it's been three years since you paid your tax bill. And that, in, and just so we're on the same page here, uh, here in London, is that a, do you guys get a choice on whether or not you want to pay your tax bill or not? Is that a choice for you guys? 
No, and it's not a choice for us. It's a law. You have to pay the tax bill every single year. So watch this. The great thing about it is on the third year, the county or the government will take those taxes owed. So let's say it's 5,000 pounds. Uh, they would take those 5,000 pounds and they would auction off or sell those 5,000 uh, pounds and attach a lien to it. So if I gave an example here, it would be a person that did not pay their tax bill for five years, and all of a sudden, the, or for three years, they owe 5,000 pounds, and uh, they sell those 5,000 pounds remotely on uh, software. They sell those, uh, sell those uh, tax liens off. Another person pays the $5,000. Now, does that person, or 5,000 pounds, does that person pay the 5,000 pounds to the person that owes it? No, they pay the $5,000 to the county that needs the money. Now, the county then, here's the great thing about it is, it versus, say, a rental property where you have to go after the, the tenant, you have to chase your money down and make sure it shows up every month. That's not how it works at all. Before you make the investment with the county, the county will say, hey, if you'll invest that $5,000 and pay for that person's taxes, what we'll do is we'll give you a guaranteed rate of return. Meaning a, a, from the county, from the government, not from me, not from associate, from the government, they'll say we'll give you a guaranteed rate of return on that 5,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds. You should understand the cheapest one that you can buy is $50, uh, which would be about 30 pounds. You can buy a tax lien. The most expensive is going to be around the 10,000 mark uh, inside of a tax lien. So what happens is the government says, okay, if you'll pay us that 5,000 pounds, we'll give you back a 22% interest rate on that $5,000. And we, we, the government, would guarantee that 22% rate of return. So the investor does it. So the investor puts in the, puts in the $5,000, again, that pays it to the government itself, not to the individual. Now, the great thing about it is, instead of you having to contact the individual and try to, try to get that 5,000 pounds back plus your 22%, you never, ever, ever, ever contact that person. The county will contact that person. The county will say, hey, uh, we sold those tax liens, the property tax that you owe. We sold those uh, at the auction for $5,000 plus 22% interest on that money. And you have a year to pay us back and pay the county back now $5,000 plus 22% return on that investment. They also have to pay for any uh, fees that occur. I mean, if there's any solicitor fees or legal fees, they have to pay for those as well. Now, in that process, the great thing about it is the county then puts a lien on that property. But they don't put the lien just on any property or any position. They automatically put that lien in first position, meaning that even if, even if there's a mortgage on that property and that mortgage is in first position, the county supersedes that and puts that lien in first position. So if that person were to decide in the process of a year to sell that property, guess who gets paid back first? You get paid back first, the 5,000 pounds, any fees that you occurred, plus 22% on uh, the money itself. Does this make sense so far? Okay. So uh, now the great thing about it is this. Let's say that in the process of a year, uh, the county uh, or that person does not pay the county back. Okay. Do you have to contact the person? No. Do you have to count, contact the county? No. It's all, all you had to do is initially buy the tax liens from them. What happens is if that person does not pay the county back that money plus 22% interest, what the county then does is go to that homeowner. They separate the deed from the property from the mortgage of the property. Because does the county guarantee you 22%? Yeah, the county guaranteed you 22% interest on your money. But that person didn't pay the 22%. So what the county does then is says, okay, we guaranteed you the 22%. So what we would give you instead of 22%, we'll give you the deed to the property free and clear. So now you made an investment of 5,000 pounds. That person did not pay you back the 22% that was guaranteed to you. So in return, what you get is the deed free and clear of that property. Does this make sense? The normal answer is no, it doesn't make sense because it's very foreign. That's the process of how it works. So when most people are out searching for a 4%, 6% return, you can literally, from the comfort of your own home, click on the uh, software that we provide for you, pick any state that you want to go to, any area that you want to go to, make a, a small tax lien if you want to test it and see if it works. You can make a small one for 50 pounds, or actually 30 pounds, buy a tax lien for 30 pounds, get a 22% guaranteed rate of return from the government secured by a free and clear piece of property. 
Now understand this, the majority of the time, you're not going to get the property. About 95% of the time, you're not going to get the property. What you are going to get is the guarantee rate of return that the government gave you. Now, how does that work? Well, when that person uh, did not pay his taxes, he also has a mortgage on that property, right? He has a mortgage. Let's say the mortgage is for 130,000 pounds. He has a mortgage for 130,000 pounds. Now, when the county contacts that person, because you don't have to, when the county contacts that person and tells them that you're, the taxes have been sold, they also contact the bank that holds that mortgage. So now the same homeowner that the county contacts and says, hey, guys, we sold your taxes. You owe us the $5,000 plus 22 percent. The county also contacts the bank. Now, the bank will contact the homeowner and say, hey, don't forget, you owe us the, the $5,000 plus the 22% by the end of the year. By the end of the 12 months, right before the deadline, if that homeowner has not paid those taxes back, guess who steps in and pays it? What, does the bank want to lose 130,000 pound investment on a property over 5,000 pounds? No, no way. So what happens is in the last month, if that homeowner refuses to pay the law, which is to pay the taxes, if he refuses to pay the, the tax bill, if he refuses to pay the 22% back to the county, then the county, then the bank will step in, the bank will pay the $5,000, and the bank will pay the 22%. Now again, does the bank pay you directly? No, no, no. The bank pays the county, and then the county contacts you and says, hey, your money has came back in. Here's your 5,000 uh, pounds back, and here's 22% that we guaranteed you back on the money. That's how the county or the government guarantees that rate of return for you. It's not that they just randomly guarantee it like a treasury note that's unsecured. No, no, the, the, the $5,000 or 5,000 pound investment is secured by the property, paid for by the bank if that person doesn't pay it. This makes sense so far. It's an incredible way for you to literally sit on a software, pick out which liens that you want, simply buy a lien for as low as $50 or 30 pounds or up as high as 10,000 pounds, if you will. Not have to contact the owner, not have to chase your money down, just simply make the purchase and wait. And in return, that county will do all the work for you, guarantee your money before you ever invest it, uh, secured by a free and clear piece of property, paid for by the bank itself. That's one of the ways that you can make, uh, and just so you understand, we're on the same page. In the states, there's 50 states. Every state's a little bit different as far as how much interest they'll pay you. It's determined by the local state, not the uh, federal government. Uh, the uh, lowest amount is 15% interest on your money. The highest amount is 25% on your money. Uh, different states pay different things. I can tell you right now, Florida and a state called Michigan both pay 25% on your money if you'll pay that tax lien so they can pay the school bills as they come in. That's a way that you can make passive investments without having to go out, without having to ever go to a property, look at a property, visit a property, anything else. Let me show you another way that's a little bit more active. Uh, this is going to be more on the active side of real estate investing. And this side is what they call A to B to C example. This side, when it comes to real estate investing, is still done, so we're on the same page. It's still done 100% remotely. Matter of fact, there's a lady in this room that sat in a room just like you today that I flew out here. Uh, she's from Australia, and uh, she's a member of our organization uh, that had just went through divorce four years ago when she met us, and uh, sat in a room just like this, attended the workshop, and here she is 46 uh, transactions later, has done these taxings that I'm referring to you out, and also these A to B2C has bought rental properties using our funding. I'll introduce you to her in just a little bit, but let me walk you through an A to B2C example. So you guys understand how an A to B2C example works, and this process does not take 12 months, 18 months. This is about a four-week process. This process is done in every single 50, all 50 states that we have, in all major cities that we have, Monday through Friday, tens of thousands of times per week. This transaction is done, and the investors are making very large chunks of money at a time by understanding how to buy it from the bank. It's just like a stock, right? When you buy stock, you want to buy a stock low and sell the stock when it's high. In this process in real estate, you're going to buy the house low, and then you're going to sell the house low again so someone else can sell the house high. Let me walk you through the example. Uh, in this example here, just so we're on the same page, A equals uh, a motivated seller or the bank, uh, B equals bank, and C 
equals a cash buyer. I'll put them on the board for you. So A equals a motivated seller. There's all types of motivated sellers. Uh, the most popular right now is the bank itself because the bank is sitting on, if you guys have ever heard the word of shadow inventory, meaning that there were so many foreclosures, there were so many houses that went under with the subprime marketing and the subprime lending, the banks are sitting on hundreds and hundreds of thousands of foreclosed vacant properties, okay? So that would be where we buy most of the properties at is directly from the bank when they have a vacant house sitting there. A B in that process is the bank itself, meaning, and this is uh, not the bank that you'd buy the house from, this is actually how you fund the deal itself. I'm going to walk you through that process. Again, this is one of those strategies inside of real estate that you don't have to own, I mean, you don't have to invest your own money whatsoever in the process. This is you just being the middleman inside the process. B is the bank, and our, uh, here at our company, we fund those for you uh, automatically, and C is the cash buyer. I'm going to go through this at a high level at a quick rate. Uh, Garen, how much time do I have left here? 30 minutes. All right, so let me go through this quickly, and I'll walk you through this process. Uh, you can establish quick cash in large chunks with, again, not ever have them leave the comfort of your own home. And again, I want you to understand, tens of thousands of these are done every single week. Uh, and when you see, you see how it works, you'll enjoy it. So uh, motivated sellers. Motivated sellers would be the bank themselves, like I was talked about with shadow inventory. And it's as simple as a process as this. This is our software that we have. If you know how to turn on a computer and follow the steps, it's as easy as that. This is the software. At the bottom down here uh, that we have, I simply chose uh, a state and a county and a city. Okay, you can choose any 50 states, any county you want to choose, and any city you want to choose. You choose anywhere you want to go. I chose Atlanta because that's where I'm from. So I typed in Georgia, which is a state, county, which is Fulton, and city in Atlanta. You click enter, and it will pull this up for you. Now, if you look at the very top there, you'll see Georgia. There's many states underneath it, but the blue one is Georgia, and if you can't read it, I'll read it for you. There's 141,000 pre-foreclosures and 164,000 foreclosures owned by the bank right now in the last 60 days. So in the last 60-day period in the state of Georgia, there's been close to 300,000 foreclosed properties in the last 60 days. Now, between me and you, you have to understand, those properties are the properties that have the value or the equity sitting inside of them. Understand this when it comes to real estate, because it may be a little bit different than some of the stock uh, uh, options out there. And we also just, for, for full disclosure, we also own a, a stock company as well called Invested IQ. Uh, but in this real estate example here, so you understand, uh, inside of real estate, you make the money when you purchase the asset. You don't make the money by buying the asset and then trying to watch the asset go up in value. Uh, you make the money inside of real estate when you buy the, when you, when you, enter into the property or buy the property or secure the property. You enter in knowing how much money you're going to make. It's not really a question of, well, will this house work or will this house create value? The value is already there. You don't have to worry about it as long as you buy the property the right way. In real estate, we say uh, you make the money when you buy the property. You get paid when you sell the property, okay? So let me walk you through this. Again, the nice thing about this example here is you're going to buy the property and sell the property on the exact same day. You're not going to buy a property and wait for four, five, six months for it to sell. You're not going to rehab the property, touch the property, visit the property, or go to the property. All you're doing is the paperwork in between that the bank is looking for. So you're going to secure the property on paper, sell the property on paper, and make the money in between it without ever, ever going to the property itself or visiting the property. So here in the state of Georgia, there's over 300,000 uh, foreclosed properties in the last 60 days. If you click on that, it'll give, you, uh, it'll give you the first 500 or so properties. This is the list that it'll give you. You click on this button here that says Quick View. Uh, this is what makes the real estate investing, uh, or really I should call this paper investing, so easy inside of it. You click on Quick View here, and I'm going to show you this property at the bottom here. 978 Allen Avenue in Atlanta, Georgia. Four bedrooms, two bath, and its estimated value is $143,000. I'm going to walk you through this one property right here. If you click on Quick View, you, it'll pull up this screen here for you. It's as simple as this. If you look at the very top right side, it gives you the address. If you look on the second line here, uh, underneath uh, the, the bold letters, it says auction date, meaning that property was sold or officially foreclosed on on April 5th, 2016 at 6 p.m. at that location. Uh, the other thing to tell you, though, just so we're, I'll speed this along for you, is the only thing I really need right now is this information right here. It provides me the lender's address, the lender's name, the lender's phone number, and the attorney to contact. So for us, it's as simple as process as we contact the bank itself. 
We say, hey, this is the property we're looking to buy. Uh, you foreclosed it on this date. The equity or the value inside that property is sitting there. The only thing we're doing is putting the property under contract. We're not going to rehab it, fix it up, and sell it. We're just going to simply put it under contract, okay? So we negotiate with the bank. We put the property under contract. So to make this easy, uh, extremely easy for you, what we do for our uh, in-state uh, students as well as international students, we created this for you. This is a software that when you have uh, that property that you're looking at and you're looking to buy, you don't have to collect any information. Let me ask you a question. When you're trying to figure out the value of a property, whether it be here or anywhere else, does the school districts uh, dictate the value of a property? Yes or no? Yes. And what is this crime rate in that area that you buy your, your personal property, your investment property, does crime rate dictate and make the value go up or down in that property? It does. So it'd be nice if you're going to look at a property or paper, but if you're going to look at some paper on property, it would be nice to know the crime rate, the school districts. It'd be nice to know how big the house was, how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms. It'd be nice to know how much the person, the bank owed on the property. Would well, that be nice to know if you're going to go into a negotiation with the bank to, to secure a piece of property, if you knew how much the bank owed on that property? Well, yeah, because that would give you a great negotiation starting point. On, uh, when you call the deal desk, I printed one of these off. Within uh, 12 to 24 hours, they will email you this 18-page report on everything about that piece of property or tax lien for that matter. If you're buying a tax lien online, it'll email you everything about it. They'll tell you the school districts. They'll tell you the, the median income there. They'll tell you the price range there. They'll tell you the median price point of properties. They'll tell you job growth in that area. They'll tell you school districts in the area. Everything that that's going to determine the value or hurt the value or help the value, they'll produce for you in uh, what we call the deal desk. If you remember uh, at the workshop that's included for you, you guys get uh, access to the deal desk. So again, it's not about you having to go out and do all this research and, and study this house and find this property and, 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 and try to find an agent to help you. None of that is done. The only thing you have to do is contact the bank, find the address. And when you get the address, you call in here. All the information is given to you within 12 to 24 hours through our software. I'm going to walk through this quick with you. Uh, when, you buy, when you find that property there, you're going to get this n number right here. Inside of real estate, those three letters are probably the most three important letters inside of real estate. They stand for ARV or stand for after repair value. It doesn't matter if you buy a rental property, a multifamily, a wholesale property, a tax lien. The three most important letters in real estate are after repair value because that tells you how much money you're, you have inside that property when you buy it, not when you sell it. You, you understand how much it's gonna, you're going to make on the front end if you understand how to calculate that number. The deal just gives it to you to make it extremely easy for you. You don't have to calculate. It. The software will give it to you automatically. So in this scenario, this house will be worth uh, an after repair value of $350,000. Now understand this, after repair value does not mean that's how much it's worth at that moment when you, when you secure it from the bank. After repair value means when someone else, not you, but when someone else buys it, uh, buys it from you, rehabs it, and, and, and sells it, that future value would be $350,000, okay? So you find out, you, you get the deal desk tells you that the property is worth $350,000. You put a contract on the property from the bank for $200,000. You put a, uh, once you have the contract on the property, this is important to understand. You don't have to own the property for 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, six months before you sell it. You're going to secure it and sell it the exact same time. Now, what was the after repair value of this property? Do you guys remember? 350000 and you put it under contract with the bank, which is nothing more than paperwork. You put it under contract via email for how much to the bank? 200000 Now, the last piece of this puzzle is simply as far as getting what they call the cash buyer, meaning this is that person that's going to buy it. This is going to be the local person, right? This is the person that lives in Atlanta that's going to buy it and fix it up and sell that property. you got to find that person so they will buy this off of you. So the way you do that is very simple. You go back to the software that we have here. The very, very top there, I'm not sure if you can read it, it says cash buyers. You type in Atlanta, Georgia, because that's where your property is located. You type in Atlanta, Georgia, it will pull up every cash buyer that's bought a house in Atlanta, Georgia in the last three days that paid cash for that property. If you look right here, it would give you 10 uh, cash buyers per page, and right here is giving you 50 pages, which means in the last 30 days, there has been 500 uh, plus people in Atlanta buy properties for cash, rehab them, and sell them. 
I would be one of those 500 people. But that's not what you do with your, uh, this paper investment right here. But you need to secure that person. But it's as easy as type in the software. There's 500 of them right there in the last 30 days that bought one. You, you have a piece of contract or a piece of paper that you're secured this property with for $200,000. The after repair value is $350,000. Yet, have you left the comfort of your own home? All you did was contact the bank. The deal desk produces all the information for you. You put the property under contract to buy the property. Now, on the sales side of it, you then sell the property for $250,000. You don't have to use an agent for it. These are cash buyers. They'll buy them as fast as you can produce them. There's, there's more cash buyers than there are inventory just so we're on the same page. So you have a sales contract for $250. You're buying it for $200. You're selling it for $250 on the exact same day. Therefore, at closing, how much profit, profit would be left in that scenario? Well, there'd be a $50,000 profit left on that transaction. Now, do you have to still pay solicitors to, for that property to do the title work, the insurance, and so forth? Of course. In a scenario like this, a closing cost would be around $5,000. That would leave you a net profit of $45,000 for moving, understanding the process of how to move paper. You buy what's from the bank, because I you understand the laws say the bank are only allowed to sell foreclosed properties for a certain amount of money. So you're securing it by a piece of paper from the bank through the software. You're securing a cash buyer through the software. You're selling it, buying it for $200, uh, selling it for $250 on the exact same day. Now, this is where our company comes in. Uh, well, I shouldn't say it's where we come in. We came in the whole way to help you through the entire process. But this is where we really come in to help our students. Instead of you having to buy that property for $200,000 and you have to invest $200,000, what we do is we provide you that $200,000. Now, we don't give that money to you, if that makes sense. What we do is provide that money at the solicitor's office. So when you have the property you're buying, you have the property you're selling, let's say it's a Wednesday that you're doing the deal, you have the, and it all is done via email just from the same page, but you have the closing set up to purchase this property Wednesday at noon. You have the closing to buy the, or sell the property Wednesday at noon. It happens at the exact same time. What you do need, though, is a $200,000 to purchase that property because that's what you're buying it for. So what we do is we come in and fund that deal for you. A lot of times the very next question I get asked is, Andrew, what do you charge to automatically fund us as your students? Well, first understand that there's no, uh, there's no approval process, meaning our company, as long as you're a member of our organization, we fund you, no credit check, no income verification, no job requirement, no down payment assistance. It's 100% financed or paid for by us. So the question we then get, man, for that type of money, for that quick of access to funding, how much money do I got to pay for that type of funding? The normal response, if I wanted to partner up with somebody, and I've partnered up with hundreds of deals, if I wanted to partner up with someone and I paid 100% of the money, I took 100% of the risk, and that person had to put zero money back at closing, bring zero money to closing, a normal split like that would be a 50-50 split on that transaction. So the transaction that I showed you there would be a $45,000 profit, and if we were to split it, 50-50, it would be $22,500 to you and $22,500 to our company if it was a 50-50 profit share. What we do is different. What we do is we provide you funding automatically, unlimited, as many deals as you want to do, no credit check, no background check, uh, as long as you have two items, the, I, the contract to purchase it from the bank and the contract to sell it uh, to the cash buyer. Then as long as you're a member of ours, we provide you unlimited funding. Our fee for that is 98% of that profit goes to you, and 2% of that profit goes to us. Now, I don't know, but I don't know, actually I do know this, but I don't know of a bank that will fund you $200,000 unverified for a one-day loan and charge you 2% on that money. It's extremely cheap. Do you understand our process, or full disclosure here, it's why we have 100,000 members, because we're doing a 2% deal with thousands and tens of thousands and tens of thousands of people across the world. That's our process. You understand that? As long as you're a member, all that money is qualified for you. You don't have to look for it, find it, apply for it. You have the purchase contract. You have the sales contract. We provide you the funding automatically for you at 2% funding. Now, 
That would leave you in that scenario, $45,000 deal right there. That would leave you a profit of $41,000 on one moving of paper, okay? So that, so that you understand, me personally, the biggest deal that I've ever done in that scenario would be half a million dollars by moving paper. That makes sense. I bought a house for 1.5, I shouldn't say I bought a house. I secured a property from the bank for 1.5 million on paper. I secured it, I mean, I had a contract for it. I then found a cash buyer uh, for $2 million. And in that process, I bought it and closed it the exact same day. And when I left that closing or signed the paperwork, if you will, because I don't actually go to the closing, nor do you, I walked out of the closing with a check for around half a million dollars, which would be, I guess, 350,000 pounds or so far. So the limit of what you can make on those types of transactions, well, that's up to you. Just to so understand, uh, I have friends of mine in the U.S. that do 40, 50, 60 of those deals per month because it's as simple as contacting the bank, finding the property, put the property in your contract, find the cash buyer. All you need is two contracts, a contract to buy and a contract to sell. We provide the funding for you at 2% to us, 98% to you. The deal's closed. The money's wired back to you. Just so we're on the same page as well, our company offer also offers you the assistance of we set up your accounts, we set up the corporations, we set up and help you also transfer the funds as well uh, during that entire process. It's not something in this process or in any type of real estate investing with us, you just understand, our whole company is based off of servicing and helping those that are trying to get involved inside of real estate. Uh, quickly here, uh, I'm going to walk through it here just to understand it. The value would be this. We, I switched over to pounds for you. So you have a seller here, uh, which is the bank, and you have the contract. The value is $350,000. You put the property under contract, which is you, for 200000 Pounds, I'm sorry. You put in a contract for 200,000 pounds. You sold the property for 250,000 pounds, which left you a net profit or gross profit of 50,000 pounds. Um, lastly here, just put it on, a, on a more of a, a balance sheet for you. It'll work like this. Uh, you found the deal for 350, put in a contract for 200, sold the buyer for 250. Closing costs would be around 5,000. Profit, our funding fee would be 4000 Estimated profit would be $41,000 uh, back to you. Uh, just for those that are wondering, the workshop that we host uh, here in London, which is in uh, Piccadilly on the Hilton Parkway, is £199 for you to attend. Uh, for, a guest, uh, for a guest to attend that workshop is £49 for a guest to attend that workshop. I want you to understand that once you're a member of our association, that funding is for you for the rest of your life. It doesn't leave. Uh, you can get funded anytime you want, any day that you want. It's less than a 24-hour uh, process for us to line the funds up for you. Also understand that if you're looking to buy rental properties, uh, we also fund the rental properties for our students as well. Let me walk through this quickly here. Uh, these are some of the bonuses, and then I'm going to have Sandra. Uh, if you actually, Sandra, let me do this now. Uh, Sandra, if you don't mind standing up. Uh, Sandra, full disclosure, is not an employee of ours. She does not work for us. Uh, she was a lady that met us four years ago. I flew her out here. I did pay for her accommodations and her flight. And Sandra uh, has now done, started at zero, and has now done 46 of these types of transactions in the last four years. And Sandra, just out of curiosity, have you ever, ever, ever went to the States to do any of your 46 transactions? No, never. never one time have you been to the States to do your transactions? Yes. Is it all done remotely? Yes. All done through computers? Yes. Okay. It's the same process that works for you guys. If you want to buy guaranteed rates of return, you go to the software, you pick out which state. Just understand that software is ours. That you can't go find it anywhere. That's a software that we built for all the taxings inside the states. The same software that finds the banks that has all the, the uh, uh, distressed or foreclosed properties on. For those of you that are interested in coming to the workshop, we have a handful of things that we're going to give you uh, as today's bonuses, and then after that, we'll have the drawings for all the free gifts. I already told you guys about the deal desk, which is what produces all the information for you automatically. It prevents you from having to go find stuff, look up stuff, research stuff, find an agent. It's all given to you within 12 to 24 hours. We produce that. That's given to you as well. This is one of the things that really helps our students out the most is that, look, you can learn real estate. In, uh, I've been in it for 12 years. It doesn't matter when those 
deals come your way or that tax lien that you're looking at, you're going to have questions about it. It's not going to be as simple as you just clicking on and figuring everything out yourself. You're going to have questions. And so when you have questions, we provide you a toll-free number. You can call. We have a call center of over 300 uh, investors that work with our students. You can use that anytime you want to, 24 hours a day, to talk to them about the deal. I told you that the 2% funding was for life. Uh, I also told you this, inside the money for the A to B to C flip deals that we just talked about, uh, for today, for those that want to sign up, for those that want to come to the workshop, uh, we have 18 of these left. Uh, we were here all week uh, earlier uh, selling this workshop, filling the workshop up. We'll have about 50 to 55 people at that workshop. Uh, we've already rented the room. Uh, for today, just for this event here, we are selling, giving you the fee at 1% instead of 2%. So again, if, if you know of a bank that will fund you for 1% uh, and fund you at no credit check and no background check, as long as you have the paper of the purchase contract and the sales contract, we're offering that today uh, just at this event for 1%. And then lastly, uh, when you do your very first deal, just so you understand, our process is to push the students through and to push the students through to make the deals happen. Is, is, we don't make money on the education side at all. What we do make money at is by you doing the deal after deal after deal because you may want to use our attorneys. You may want to use our property manager. You may want to use our funder. You may want to use our insurance. Just understand that's how our success is based off of your success. We don't get paid until you guys start doing deals, uh, since, hence the reason and we're so uh, uh, entrenched in making sure that you go out and do deals. Internationally, so you understand, in our international students, those that uh, have came on uh, into our organization, 62% of them have done a deal inside our organization, and 27% are still actively looking for the deal, I mean, they just have joined. We come to London about every 45 to 60 days. When you do your very first deal, no matter what deal it is, we'll give you a $1,000 uh, cash discount, which is in the buyer packs there as well. Uh, and with the 1%, including the cash discount, that would give you a profit of $43,000. Uh, that will, sorry, I messed it up. Uh, the total price there is $199 per person. But if you want to bring a guest, you may bring a guest for 49 pounds. That guest does not have to be here with you today. Uh, that guest can be anybody you want it to be. As long as you sign up today, you may bring a guest for 49 pounds. You may attend the first workshop, the second workshop, the third workshop, or nine workshops. It does not matter to us. Uh, the dates are not that important. As long as you're a member, you're always a member of our association. Last thing to understand, there is no annual fee that you have to pay. There is no membership you have to pay. Our goal is to uh, get you to come on and inside of our organization, teach you the methods of how to make money inside our real estate, open up a different world that you may not have known yet, fund those deals for you, and be there to assist you throughout the entire process. Uh, if you guys want to sign up, uh, we have a, a couple guys outside out here in the back, just so we're on the same page. You may pay with uh, credit cards, check, cash, it doesn't matter to us, American Express, MasterCard, it doesn't matter as long as you register for that three-day training event. Uh, also, at our booth, we're going to do the rest of the giveaways. I think, Garrett, you're going to do a couple right now. Uh, of the different giveaways that we have, the NFL tickets as well as the iPads as well that we're giving away. Uh, guys, I appreciate your time. It's been a privilege and an honor for me to be here. I appreciate you listening to me and sticking around. They're going to give away the gifts right now, and then our guys will be right outside the door. If you haven't uh, passed in your forms, uh, get them in right now, and they'll take the forms for you. Again, guys, thank you very much for standing around and listening. Thank you.